Hello everyone, and it's good to be with you again for another Pastors and Devotion and to look at the Word of God together. And what I want to talk about today is uh, just being recognized. I think we all can relate to when we, we do something, uh, we want uh, to be properly recognized. Uh, you know, we want the pat on the back, we want the, the good job, we want the well done. I think we long for uh, the approval of man oftentimes. And Jesus gives us uh, great wisdom and uh, a great uh, lesson in that in terms of our, our spiritual growth and walk with him. And it's a story found in Luke chapter 17, starting in verse 7. Jesus says this, Will any of you who has a servant, plowing or keeping sheep, say to him, When he has come in from the field, come at once and recline at table? Will he not rather say to him, Prepare supper for me, and dress properly, and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterward you will eat and drink. Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. All right, so the story is this. There's a master as a servant, and the servant's been working all day in the field. And Jesus says, that the master, when the servant comes in, is not going to say to him, come and sit at the table and eat. No, rather the master is going to say, please yeah, prepare supper for me. Uh, prepare a drink for me. Dress properly. And after you do that, then you can eat and drink. Then Jesus poses this question, this rhetorical question in verse 9. Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? And the answer is no. Why? Because the servant is doing his duty. And how does that relate to us? As the people of God, when we live for Christ, when we follow the commandments, you know, such as uh, giving faithfully to the church, you know, not stealing, and not committing adultery, honoring our mother and our father, you know, not gossiping, being kind, loving, serving. You know, we are doing what we are commanded to do. That, that is kind of the, the expectation. You know, by the power of the Holy Spirit working within us, uh, new hearts, new lives, you know, we are doing what we're supposed to be doing. And so Jesus relates it to us. So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, and all those things are said, and many other things, say this, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. Right? We're not earning our salvation. Christ has already done that for us by his perfect life, his death, his resurrection. We are living in response to what Christ has done for us. We are only doing what our duty is. We are truly unworthy servants. And we have the righteousness of Christ placed upon us and we live in response to that goodness by being servants of the King. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you for Jesus, our hope and salvation. And Lord, uh, just help us to remember that we are unworthy servants and Christ has done all for us. And Lord, we know it's by your grace that we are saved. Lord, help us to, to live out a response of love for you. Lord, be with us this day. In Christ's name, amen. Have a wonderful day.